Hello, I've made a much more comprehensive video about uh, setting up Altitude Pro theme by StudioPress, but if you can edit a little bit of HTML, there's a much easier way to set up the front page. Now I use the widget importer and exporter plugin to download and save the settings for the seven widget areas on the home page of Altitude Pro. I've put this file on my website so you can use it to set up your own front page you'll need this plugin. Now if you're viewing this on YouTube, if you look underneath the video, I'll put a link to the web page where you can download the code you need to follow along with this tutorial. So this is what I'm talking about. Altitude Pro's got all these, these are text widgets on the front page. Um, that's a card picture that I put in myself. Um, but you need, normally you would set this all up by hand, but using this plugin makes it much much easier. Now when you first install uh, Altitude Pro you just see something like this you see the blog listing any blog post you've made will be just listed one on top of another on your home page. Now normally you would have to set up um, about 10 or more text widgets in widget areas to get the effect the, the same look as they've got on the studio press demo page but what I've done I've set the front page up on a test site and I've exported the settings using this widget importer and exporter plugin so you'll need to install that plugin and I've exported the settings I'll make them available on, on my website which you can get at by clicking the link under this YouTube video and then you just need to download those settings from my site and upload them to your site. So when you've installed the plugin make sure you activate the plugin and then go to tools widget importer and exporter and you'll see this screen here. Now you'll need the code you'll have to download it from my website and it's got a WIE extension it's not a text extension or anything else it's WIE anyway once you've downloaded it from my site put it on your desktop or save it somewhere that you can remember where you've put it and then go to tools widget importer and exporter choose and choose the WIE uh, file there it's the WIE extension open import widgets so it's imported the widgets and if you go back to your front page, this is what we had, just a basic blog set it, uh, setup. If we refresh the page, it's imported all that, uh, all, all the text widgets and the text inside them. Now, you'll have to do a bit of HTML. If you want to do it this way, I've, I've made a much more comprehensive video showing you how to set all this up. But this will save you a load of time if you can edit a little bit of HTML. So what will you need to edit? If you go to Appearance, Widgets, these are the widgets that it's imported for you. So if you open up each one, there's, they'll all be front page, the front page one, front page two, three, four, five, six, seven. So open the widget area, then the text widgets are inside those, and just change the text. But you'll have to be careful not to delete any of the HTML. These little angle brackets um, contain the HTML and you don't want to delete any of those and you'll have to put in your own links and things like that if, if you don't want to do it this way I've made a much more comprehensive video showing you sort of in detail how to do everything but if you can edit just a little bit of HTML you'll find this will save you an absolute load of time now if you look at each each section I've, I've labeled them front page one front page two so they're, they're all labelled front page 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So it's fairly easy to find what you're looking for. You'll have to add your own image, your own photo there, and change all the text for each section. There's quite a lot to change. These buttons, you'll need to change the, the text in the buttons and the link where the button links to, and things like that. But if you know how to do that, this is a much quicker way to set up the front page. Now you don't have to use this plugin to set up the front page of Altitude Pro theme, but if you do it will save you a lot of time. Anyway, good luck with your website, don't forget to click the link below this video on YouTube and that will take you to my website where you can get the code you need. Good luck.